So you want to do a little wizardry? No, not that kind of wizardry. Photo wizardry. Professional programs like Photoshop have many more features and can truly let you do almost anything with your images, but do cost money. On the other hand, EarthenView is free to download and you can still do some photo magic with it. Before we get started, I want to remind you that for much of the time, this will be a work in progress and you should save all your work often. If you've made drastic changes to your image, you may want to save it under a different file name using the Save As option, so you have previous drafts to go back to if necessary. As we work through the features of EarthenView and select different images to edit, I suggest you save each one with another name. As we go over each tool, you may want to take a moment to pause the video and experiment. Get comfortable with the tool you're working with before moving on to the next feature. At some point, you've probably taken what you thought was a perfect picture only to discover when it was developed that your loved ones had creepy red vampire eyes. This is called, fittingly, red eye, and it's a trick of film caused by your camera's flash. Lucky for you, EarthenView has a red eye reduction filter you can use to clean up your image. Let's start with a photo that needs some retouching, like this one. If you can find one, then open it up now. To remove the red eye, you first need to select the area around the eyes using the marquee tool. Now, click the image menu and find red eye reduction. It looks for the red highlighted areas and ta-da! EarthenView also has a limited ability to improve the sharpness of your image. If your image is just a touch blurry, this might be a useful tool to clean up. This can often happen if you took a lower resolution picture and then either cropped it too much or tried to enlarge it. If the whole picture needs it, just type Shift S, the shortcut to sharpen your image, without selecting anything, like this. Or if you really just want to focus people on one area of the picture, you might just want to select an area and sharpen it by itself. Select the area in either Shift S or under Image menu, select Sharpen. You may need to do it more than once to see a visible change. In addition to these practical tools, EarthenView also can add some fun effects to your pictures, like this pixelated filter or this embossed filter. There's also a nifty way to preview what these special effects will look like. Go to the Image menu and choose Effects and then Effects Browser. The Effects Browser will show what your image originally looked like as well as a preview of what each effect will do to your image. Just choose the effect you want to apply and it will automatically update itself. If an effect filter lets you adjust any of its properties, those dialog boxes will appear on the right under the preview, like this. Let's say you want to use this image, but you also captured another face that you don't have permission to use. Just select the face and let's pixelize it. Now, if that isn't enough, then move the marquee a little and do it again. There. There are lots of interesting and useful things you can do with these effects. It's bound to happen sooner or later. You're going to have an oops moment and do something to your image you did not intend. EarthView has an undo command, like many programs, but be careful. EarthenView is only able to undo the most recent change to your image. So, if you cut something out of the image and then crop it, you can only undo the cropping. That slice you cut out of the image can't be undone now. This is why it's always a good idea to save a backup copy of your image, just in case of mistakes like this. In the meantime, practice with EarthenView and get to know its strengths and limitations. Don't be afraid to experiment and make sure to have fun. You will be making those magazine cover touch-ups in no time.